Uganda People's Defense Forces Senior Commander Major General Richard Otto succeeded Major General Dick Olum, brought a fresh sense of determination to the battlefield, leading from the front and inspiring the joint troops to push forward against ADF. I started operating in June and this is October, so I'm about uh, three and this is the fourth month. Uh, the operations have been very successful. So when I took over, the most important thing was first to consolidate the achievements to ensure that whatever we have achieved in the past could not again be interrupted by the enemy. Here in the heart of Democratic Republic of Congo Jango, where the Allied Democratic Forces rebels have been hiding poor terrain, but the Uganda People's Defense Forces and Armed Forces of Democratic Republic of Congo soldiers are determined to flush out the ADF rebels out of the jungles. Uh, the area liberated from the activities of the Allied Democratic Forces. They are now free of the enemy. And which areas are these? Uh, these are former bases of the enemy, like in Malika, which uh, those areas they fall under Sector 1 and Sector 2 and Sector 3. Uh, people have gone back to their villages. When you are crossing uh, the Kasindi border post, you find that there is a very serious uh, uh, business activities taking place. People have come back to their places, especially training centers along the road. And you could see a lot of socioeconomic activities taking place. People are, uh, schools are opened, uh, a number of uh, people are cultivating, the church is operating, the high DPs have gone back to their homes, the roads have been worked on, and you really see life. So my first uh, task was to ensure that uh, we consolidate this achievement and they are no longer interrupted by, by the enemy. Major General Richard Otto's determination has added a new dimension to Operation Suja, the war against ADF. The outcome is viable and the joint military operations aim to contribute to the broader goal. Thank uh, His Excellency the President of the Republic of Uganda and then His Excellency the President of the Republic of uh, Democratic Republic of Congo for coming out with this uh, initiative to rescue the people who are suffering in Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo. Uh, it was through their initiative which brought we, the military, on board. Uh, then secondly, the population of uh, Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo, and of course to, uh, the Ugandans, for allowing the Ugandan People's Defense Forces to cross the border, go and bring back their children. The Congolese are working very closely with the Ugandan People's Defense Forces, and the cooperation is very good at all levels. The joint forces are utilizing a combination of military operations, intelligence gathering, and the community engagement to combat the Allied Democratic Forces rebels. We are operating jointly. Joint operation means uh, two different forces come together to operate. Uh, the ADF, they are not only fighting Ugandans, they are also killing Congolese. And they are also attacking the armed forces of uh, the Democratic Republic of Congo. So we are now joined to fight them. And uh, this is what we have been doing right from November 2021. In Ibiakato, Mambasa territory, 67 kilometers northwest of Beni in Ituri province, Allied Democratic Forces scattered group suffered heavy losses after encountering the joint forces of armed forces of Democratic Republic of Congo and Uganda People's Defense Forces soldiers. When you see a member of UPDF, you must see a member of uh, armed forces from the Republic of Congo. And this is what we have been doing. So the jointness has helped a lot and uh, it has brought us very close. Uh, there is that unity of efforts. Uh, and also when we operate together, it uh, removes suspicion. Because sometimes back, uh, there were these other uh, legations, or oh, we have gone there to plunder the, the, the economy of the country. But when they are together, do they see anything happening? Okay, so that gives more confidence. And also when um, we arrive in an area and the population see their own, together with our people, I think they are also very happy. After being defeated in Luna and Mambasa, the Allied Democratic Forces rebels have reportedly relocated far away from Sector 4 and the Uganda People's Defense Forces and Armed Forces of Democratic Republic of Congo Forces are actively pursuing them. Haruna Mtesasida, UBC News.